Good morning from the Spiritual Whistleblower. Before I go into my sermon so I can set your day off right, I want to sing a quick little song for you because I love you so much. All my supporters and my enemies and haters, they can get a little love too. <clears throat> and it goes like this. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a wonderful feeling. Everything's going my way. How you like them apples? I hope you have a fabulous, fantastic day because I woke up on the right side of the bed this morning and I feel divine. I feel confirmation, validation in the spiritual realm. I feel so good. The ancestors are clapping and they're proud of me. My father, God above, is proud of me because I stand 10 toes down and I go hard for the Lord. And I'm pulling all y'all closer to the Lord. So there's rewards in that. And I know the reward is coming. That's why I'm so happy. I wish y'all an abundance of happiness. Whatever was stressing you out yesterday, no more. Start your day off new. And I hope it's blessed and prosperous. And I hope, you know, God blesses you with something awesome today. But anyway, um, I just want to remind you all, you know, because, you know, my, my discernment is nothing to play with. It's not. And I won't be attacking or exposing anyone in this video. Um, my work is done for now. I've been gone for six months. And what has Spiritual Whistleblower been doing over the past six months? Well, if you follow me on Instagram, I love SWV. And if you follow me on TikTok, well, mainly my Instagram for now. I really don't be on Instagram that much. What I did was I asked my followers because I, I constantly need feedback. I think it's very important to do an evaluation, an assessment of what my supporters want. What am I lacking? It's called constructive criticism. I really care. So I asked my supporters on Instagram, um, what type of content would you like to see more of me? Do you want more of the narcissistic abuse videos or do you like my self-care videos? And I got a mixture but, you know, a lot of people said, hey, spiritual whistleblower, I'm close to my healing. I'm, you know, I'm good. And seeing, you know, old narc abuse videos, it triggers stuff and it, it pulls me back to the old days. It triggers me. So, you know, I don't, I don't like, I love you, spiritual whistleblower, but I don't like watching the videos that remind me of my past. And then I get a lot of feedback from the new people that just learned about this stuff and they're like oh my god I, I i'm so new to this i'm fighting to get out my situation your videos help me so it's kind of like a a fine line between the both and i said damn how do i appease my entire audience there are people that are damn near healed and don't want to see the shit because it reminds them of the old the old days and the unhealed version of them and then i have those that are new to the game and my videos really help them and they want me to keep posting more of the narc stuff then i have my self-care videos and if you don't know nothing about my self-care videos you need to follow me on instagram i started posting self-care videos this year to demonstrate that i just don't talk the talk spiritual whistleblower puts her money where her mouth is not only am i devoted to teaching you guys how to raise your discernment how to break your toxic codependency issues and how to start healing i live it and i show it to the world i'm super transparent i'm an open book always have been so what i do with my self-care videos i do things um, I make video content that shows the world how to take care of yourself and put you first and enjoy doing it at the same time. So you'll see me going to the dermatologist's office. You know, I have an amazing black dermatologist, Dr. Howard. She's in New York City. And um, I'll be going to see her in a couple of weeks. She's fucking amazing. And she has a beauty skin care line, hair and skin in Target. Did y'all know my, my dermatologist is that She's fabulous. I almost slipped up and called her to be. She's not that. She has a hair and skin line in Target. That's how fierce and fabulous my black dermatologist is. So I, I did video content um, showing the whole routine of getting my skin. Everybody says you have beautiful skin. Well, 
Let me show you. I go to the dermatologist. Um, I might do video content where I, I go to the dentist. I go on vacation. I go to the spa. I get, you know, a facial. I just demonstrate through my video content how to take very good care of yourself. I get my hair and makeup done. I get dressed up and I take myself out to dinner. I go to the movies. I go to Broadway plays. I do different things, but I'm living example. I'm teaching you guys by example, not just by my mouth. Y yappity yap, yap, yap. I am a doer. Okay. I show up. I put my money where my, my mouth is. So my video content, my self-care videos is basically just showing and teaching you guys. It's okay to do everything by yourself. <clears throat> you can go out by yourself. You can travel by yourself. You can put yourself first without feeling guilty. So people love my self-care videos. I mean, like, so what I've done, my Instagram page has become nothing but self-care videos. And I put all the narcissistic abuse um, videos on my Patreon, my TikTok, and, and YouTube. Of course, the videos are here on YouTube. But um, I believe in, you know, setting the example and leading by example and not just sitting on your ass and talking the talk. So I want to just say to you, what I've done over the past week is I was very calculated and very strategic in teaching you all how to raise your discernment another level, another notch. I can disappear for several months and pop back up and be like, what's up, y'all? Did you know this, that, that? I start pointing out facts and, you know, dropping a couple videos and I'll disappear for another six months. But I always leave y'all with gems. I want you to open up your mind. More importantly, I want you to get the fuck out this community. There's nothing here but toxicity. If you watch these, these toxic channels, you're going to stay in a state of limerence. And like I said, if you don't know what limerence, the word limerence means it's like to keep constantly reminiscing, never escaping the trauma, never escaping those memories, the shoulda, woulda, coulda, woulda, if, you know, it was love, but it, you know, I think it's, you know, it keeps you in a constant state of, of, of ruminating how are you going to break out of the cycle of ruminating and reminiscing and thinking back could have been could have it, it was it love and maybe i just misunderstood this person i can't believe like you gotta break out of that shit and you know staying on these toxic youtube channels and being caught up and you know recycled regurgitated surface level fucking videos on narc abuse you're never going to rise above the limerence you're you're just not so I get out in these streets and I live and I teach by example how to break the limerence, how to break out the cycles of ruminating, how to start living and enjoying your fucking life and being unapologetic about it. Go to my Instagram. The videos are there. I'm dressed in fabulous clothes. You know, I don't wear a designer. I don't, I don't believe in wearing designer clothes. I think you make the clothes, your personal style. You can, I can shop at the dollar store. I can shop at the thrift shop and, and buy fucking clothes and fucking make them look phenomenal on my body and my hair, my makeup. I dress this up and I take myself out. I go to the best restaurants. I vacation all over the world. Y'all saw when I flew out to Paris, France. And a bitch sat down and had a nine course meal inside of the Eiffel Tower. A lot of people were like, damn, bitch, I didn't even know there was a restaurant inside of the Eiffel Tower. Wow, you learn something new every day. You're not scared of going to Paris by yourself? I said, no. Bitch, I will fly all over the world by myself. I sat, I went to the Eiffel Tower. There's a couple of restaurants inside of the Eiffel Tower. And like a queen... I paid for my own nine course meal dinner, treated like royalty, watched the sunrise, the sunset, you know, from the Eiffel Tower. I had the VIP seats and I sat there and I enjoyed my fucking meal like a boss, like a queen. That's what I'm about. I want you to break your codependency issues. Take your ass to therapy. And don't you choose any type of therapist because a lot of therapists and doctors and psychs and psychologists are narcissistic and they'll get you in them therapy sessions and gaslight you and they'll encourage you to build bonds with toxic family members just to keep you in that toxic loop. You want to choose a therapist that is very skilled and knowledgeable on narcissistic abuse. They're going to encourage you to break free from your toxic parents. They're going to encourage you to stay free and focus on yourself and your own needs. 
You know, I have an amazing psychotherapist. I've been in EMDR therapy since January. I, I, I love therapy. You know, with my daughter being disabled, a special needs child, we've been going to therapy for the last 20 years. That's all I know. That's why I'm pursuing a doctor's in psychology. I said I should have been a therapist, either a lawyer in family court or a therapist of some sort helping women and children. That's my calling, you know, uh, uh, in a professional industry. But um, my daughter being a special needs child, we have basically lived in the therapist's office since she was in diapers, okay? Um, being that she has a disability and, and um, you know, I've we've done family counseling, we've been... You know, she's still in therapy now. And even though she's a young adult, I have to sometimes go with her to help her and assist her with her paperwork and different things, you know, helping her get her records and things processed with the therapists and doctors. You know, I have, mom, mom still has to help her. So, you know, I'm a huge advocate of therapy and um, what is working for me and what I have advised women to do is go to EMDR therapy. I've been in EMDR therapy since January. I'm going to continue to the end of the year. I, I'm gonna get my evaluation results because my psychotherapist is amazing. The first day that I met her, one of the things I, I screened her, I said, listen, sis, I'm not gonna deal with anyone that does not know about narcissistic abuse that cannot, you know. And she said, no, I am a victim. My father was abusive. I had to break free from my family, you know. So my psychotherapist and I see eye to eye and every session I've had with her, she just validates. Tell me, tell me about what happened. And you know, that's fucking awful. How dare they do that to you? She empowers me. <clears throat> she validates me. She does not tolerate narcissistic abuse. Find a very good therapist that will treat you the same and will not gaslight you and just be in it for the money, stringing you along and you know, encouraging you when they encourage you to, to repatch things with your toxic parents and your toxic baby daddies and stuff, what's going they already know that it's going to go bad. If you reconnect with an abuser and I don't care who that abuser is, you're going to get set back in the same cycle. Your therapist, your psychologist should be encouraging you to not go back to the abuser. Mom, dad, sister, cousin, uncle, baby daddy, husband, wife. Do not ever go back to an abuser. You will you will go backwards in your healing process. The abuser will make sure of that. They will abuse you all over again. All these professional doctors and therapists know that. So don't get caught up with a toxic therapist. Go to EMDR therapy, eye movement desensitization reprocessing. It is specifically for narcissistic abuse survivors, domestic violence survivors. It helps pack away trauma and bad memories. Get out of these YouTube streets. There's nothing here but just people that are going to keep you in a toxic loop of reminiscing and ruminating and, you know, content creators that encourage toxic codependency. You know, they talk about it, but they, they're not about it. Spiritual whistle. I'm, I'm actually going to take y'all with me to a visit um, with my therapist. I I'm going to put that in a self-care video. I want y'all to come with me on, on one of my visits to my therapy session. Because I love y'all that much. I want y'all to heal. I want y'all to heal. Now, I've given you one week's worth of content. Study it. Watch it over and over again. Because I got to go back to living. I don't want to, you know, me staying in this YouTube community, making video after video. To me, it's nothing more than just, I, you know, it's like a pig wallowing in the mud. That's the perfect metaphor. It's like a pig wallowing and spitting and having a good time in the mud. If I stay in this YouTube community, I will feel nasty, dirty, like I'm rolling around in the fucking mud like a pig. I don't want to wallow around in filth. I got to get back to the business of running my TikTok. The, a bitch is almost at a million. I'm on my way to a million. I'm at half a million. I'm on my way to a million. I can't do that if I'm caught up here in this raggedy fucking community of toxic content creators. I can't. I'll stay stuck. I love y'all. I just popped in to give y'all. I gave y'all a week's worth. I gave y'all a week's worth of content to help you raise your discernment. I got to get back to the business of, 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 of doing me. I got vacations. A bitch got like three. I got two cruises that I'm going on. I'm going on a cruise in September. I'm going on another 11-day cruise in November. Bitch is gone. I, all I'm doing is vacation all summer. 
vacation and getting tans, party, and I got a yacht party to go to. A bitch stay turned up, hair, nails, everything done. Fabulous having a hot girl fucking summer. I can't do that if I'm here fucking with this shit all the time. I can't do this YouTube toxicity shit. Only the pigs that wallow in filth will stay here and run their fucking channels. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Oh, my God. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I have a wonderful feeling. Everything's going my way. <laughs> I love y'all. Follow me on my Instagram. I love SWB. And that's spelled I L O V E S W B. I have one page. The rest are imposters and fake pages. Follow me on TikTok, Spiritual Whistleblower, one word. And go follow the podcast. Why complain when you can whine? We were talking about convicts, what it's like to date a felon. There's a part one. She's going to post a part two next week. Thank y'all for y'all's support. Please take, take my shit serious, y'all. Take it serious. Please. I got to get back to having fun. I, I, I'm, I'm having a lit summer. I can't be here with this, this low level, low vibrational shit. I got to get back to having a good time and, and turning up. Y'all have a blessed day.